I don't do that anymore. I now load my list with everything, everything. And the reason is part of the fun of having a list is checking it off. That's it. Boy, at the end of the day, if you can go, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, whatever it is, right? You get into the habit. So load up your list, the things you want. Now, when you check off something major, celebrate. That's an important point to make. Celebrate your achievements. Live it up, have a party. When you reach something you've worked for for a while. See, we all grow from two experiences. One is called the pain of losing. The other one is called the joy of winning. We need both of them. Amplify them as much as you can, which also means make losing painful. If you set up something, fooled around, didn't get it, put it on yourself. On the other side, if you did get it, congratulate yourself. Self-congratulations is a sign of maturity. Seeking congratulations is a sign of immaturity. But hey, winning and losing, see, that's what it's all about. That's the name of the game. Now, some people lead such mediocre lives. At the end of the day, they don't know whether they're winning or losing. <laughs> they got no clue. Guy's just going through the day with his fingers crossed. There's a better way. Okay, here's the third category of goals, personal development. Put those goals together, personal development goals. That's your goals to be stronger, more decisive, be a speaker, be a leader, learn a language, all kinds of skills. Okay, the whole weekend seminar was designed to improve all your skills so that you walk away more skillful. And that's what you want, the personal development skills. That's what attracts, that's what brings good things to your life, the person you become more skillful. Now, this is quite a package to work on. Economics, things, personal development. For tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, long range. Okay, that'll get you started. Now, here's the simple formula for setting goals. It goes like this. A, work on your goals. That's step one, work on them. And I put the word work there deliberately. Setting goals is plain, Hard work. I don't want to kid you. We haven't come here tonight to kid each other. It's work. I know it's work. That's why a lot of people just let it slide. It's work. Many people work hard on their job, but they don't work hard on their future. They just let that slide. And the work involved is making plans. I know most people don't. I understand that, but don't let that be you. Guy says, well, yeah, you work where I work, but the time you struggle home, it's late. You've got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night, plan, plan, plan. And the guys be fine. Good worker, hard worker, sincere. But you've got to be better than sincere, working hard. You've got to be better than a good worker. You've got to be a good planner. Somebody once wisely said, the people who fail to plan are planning to fail. Well said. So work on your goals. Here's step two. Write your goals down. That's so important. I teach my staff around the world, put your goals in your journal. Because one of the major people you want to study is yourself. So here's the list of goals I put together three weeks ago. Here's the list of goals I put together two years ago. Here's some of the changes I made, rearrangement of my priorities. I scratched these off, I put these on, I've gotten these. Study your accomplishments, study what your desires are. Put them on paper, write them down. Here's another reason for writing your goals down. It shows you're serious about doing better. And to do better, you gotta get serious. You don't have to be grim, but you must be serious. Everybody hopes things will get better. 
Everybody hopes. Poor people hope. That ought to tell you something. It means the future does not get better by hope. It gets better by plan.